I desperately want to make love to a schoolboy. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, today we are finally checking out Dumb and Dumber. And this is actually one of my mum's favourite films. She told me to watch it, as well as a lot of you guys have told me to watch it over the years. So let's not wait. Who doesn't love a Jim Carrey film? So, get straight into it. Excuse me. What is that hair? I'm supposed to be doing a lecture in about 20 minutes and my driver's a bit lost. You go straight ahead, make the left, over the bridge. Over the bridge? New Jersey? Austria. Austria! Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> oh, God. The way his face just turned there. It's not even that funny of a joke with his face. Wow. Go down, mate. Oh, that's a good start. That's the best start on a film for a while, huh? Are oh, you the driver? That's some advanced riz. <laughs> Wait, Is this Truman's alternate timeline? This is certified drip though. I don't care what any of you say. And that is a certified whip. Drip and whip. Mutt cuts. I mean, it's all rhyming, so. Imagine he pulls up and leaves the car and you ask him, what do you do for a living? Yeah, who's got the wiener schnitzel? Beautiful. There you go, doll. There you go, Oh, well done. Got the roast beef, our juice. A beautiful What the hell is our juice? You let me make the foil. Who's got the foot? I mean, my feet are a foot long. That's what I'm talking about. Suck me sideways. Excuse me? A drink first? Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's such a good choice, that little chip tooth at the front. <laughs> Me when I make eye contact with someone, <laughs> I've already imagined my life with them. Why are you going to the airport? Flying somewhere? <laughs> How'd you guess? So where are you headed? Aspen. Mmm, California. <laughs> <laughs> How does one a man lack so many brain cells? This isn't my real job, you know. My friend Harry and I are saving up our money to open our own pet store. There the amount of Uber drivers that will tell me they're making a business on the side, but I actually believe half of them. What's the matter? A little tense about the flight? <laughs> Something like that. Oh god, you don't have Uber drivers that just keep talking like, just leave me alone sometimes. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the poor dog's on the live now. My dogs were supposed to be here 40 minutes ago. I made them and I clipped them myself. <laughs> yeah, cute though. Here you go. I couldn't possibly accept that. Not after all we've been through. Thank you, Lloyd. Never take a free lunch though. Always pay, even if they offer free. Just do it. How about a hug? <sighs> Don't be that guy at school. Where's my end of the day hug? Come on. Oh, I hate goodbyes. <laughs> uh, Lloyd. Shh. Just go. Anyway, anyone had any weird people like that? I mean, I feel like guys are less likely to have that happen to them. I mean, was she that special? You. I don't understand, really. She's gonna leave the briefcase near the escalator. You make the pickup. I, I just thought it'd be some idiot plot. I like with these two idiots. I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye, <my> love. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Airbags look fun, but I swear the rate at which they come out can like near kill you. Oh, oh no, he's gonna mess it all up. Coming through. Now what is wrong with you, man? But in an airport, I swear, any bag, if you leave it for like two seconds, someone's gonna come and destroy it. They think every bag's a bomb. Oh, Why is that flight number Jim Carrey's birthday? Oh. <laughs> Hi, Lloyd. Hi, Harry. I do feel like Lloyd's the bigger idiot, but is he dumber? Fell off the jetway again. I fell off the jetway again? Did you say again? Well, I lost my job too. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> How is he the loser? You both lost your job. Hi, Pete. The alarm alone cost me 200. Chicks love it. It's a shagging wagon. It's a shaggy wagon, yeah. Not for shagging. It's a love memento. The most beautiful woman alive. Oh, no, wait. How much money's in there? Five bucks, maybe. She actually talked to me. 
Get out of here. Tractor beam. That's all guys need to fall in love. Just talk to us. Look at us in the eyes for 1.5 seconds. Briefcase ain't here. He must have taken it with him. We should trash the place. Send him a little message. I don't think he's gonna get that message, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's already a dump. No, not PT. <laughs> Drove around all day and there's not a single job unless you want to work 40 hours a week. <laughs> 40? Who's got time for that? It's the last of our dough. What do I look like? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like all of us have a percentage of him, like in us though. Maybe he just erupts on certain days. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I've seen that before where you pay for a newspaper. Excuse me, little old lady. Do me a favor and watch my stuff here while I go break a dollar. Oh, she's a thief. Senior citizens, although slow, can still serve a purpose. I'll be right back. Don't you go dying on me. <laughs> My parakeet Petey, he's dead. His head fell off. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty old. Yeah, no one did that. It just happened. I've had it with this dump. We got no food. We got no jobs. Our pet's heads are falling off. <laughs> yeah, go where? Where are we gonna go? Someplace warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. I can't be Aspen then. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. <laughs> Yeah, it's so hot. It's so hot there. <laughs> what are you doing? It feels like you're running at an incredible rate, Harry. <laughs> Wait, why have I never tried that? What did you sell him, Lloyd? A few baseball cards, a sack of marbles. <coughs> Petey. Petey? You sold the bird. You sold my dead bird to a blind kid? Petey didn't even have a head. Did you glue it back on? Pretty Sanitate. bird. Yeah, can you say pretty bird? Oh. Polly want a cracker? If he's happy, he's happy. Rub that right in our faces. Must have been following us for weeks. Gas, man. How the hell did they know that I got gas? <laughs> Excuse me, Flo. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny about Flo? Feels good to mingle with these laid back country folk, don't it, Harry? I like it a lot. <laughs> what? You spilled the salt. Spilling the salt is very bad luck. Is it though? I mean, I'm superstitious in some ways, but like, spilling salt? What the hell? Dead man and hit me with the salt shaker. This is, <laughs> you little rat. No. <laughs> There's bad luck to throw it behind the shoulder. Kick his ass, sea bass. Sea bass? You gonna eat that? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, I hate that. I don't even wanna. I just had an idea. I'd like to buy you guys a round of beers. Make it four Boilermakers. Oh, my favorite. Seabass and the fellows offered to pick up our check. You cheeky sod, is that gonna work? Seabass said that. That guy at the table over there is Seabass. <laughs> no way. All right, that's what he wants. <laughs> I thought you so good. Oh, sons of the waitress is running outside as if that's gonna help though. I was genius, Lloyd. Sheer genius. I mean, you see, I thought he was an idiot, but that was actually smart. Saw it in a movie once. Uh, what film was that? Schindler's List. They catch up to him half mile down the road and slit his throat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's happening. But I gotta go. What am I supposed to do? Whiz in one of the empty beer bottles in the back. To be fair, it's a childhood memory just having a little widow in the car in like a bottle. I don't think I'll ever do that again in my life. That's kind of sad. Like, what is it about kids just not being able to hold it, you know? Because I can hold it forever now. Well, it's almost full. I'm still going. Quick, give me another bottle. Come on! <laughs> that sound design's so good. It sounds just like it. Oh no! No! We're holding a beer! What are you, a camel? <laughs> Four? 1.2 something liters? Pull over! No, it's a cardigan, but thanks for not. <laughs> you fellas been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine? No, oh no, sir. Oh. Just some piss. Come on, give me that booze, you little pumpkin pie. You're not even for drinking it, just have it open, you're under arrest. No. Sir, no, oh. wait, 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 wait. No, sir, don't. Oh! <laughs> it's got a little twang to it. I saw the city. <laughs> How many of us, though, like, we always think out these things that we're gonna do and it's gonna play out this. It never bloody does. Oh, I don't know just why she simply caught my eye. 
But that's a real nice ski mask. <laughs> <laughs> this is everyone's dream though, making everyone laugh at a party. <laughs> Can't that burn your intestines, apparently? <laughs> it's still going, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is every man's nighttime dreams though, I promise you. It's so true. <laughs> Minus that part, I mean. <laughs> this is so deep. Look at the layers of manifestation. <laughs> He makes up all these faces. Are they all in the script? Oh, uh? that for a drop of blood. <laughs> what? <laughs> that made my heart hurt. How does she suddenly get Langer though? What do they do to her? I'm sorry? <laughs> you know your daydreams are so vivid though, it's really fun. Some little filly break your heart, great yeah. right a belcher. What are we doing in a heart-shaped hot tub? Yeah, you know her? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, you banged her. She give you any reason about me not listening to her enough or something? I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Because <laughs> I think she was seeing another guy. No way. Yeah, the boys uh, hold up in a little love nest for the night. A little love nest, yeah, literally. Is it possible they could be feds? Highly unlikely like from what I see. Oh, wait, he's in on it? Concept of other people, me being that for the phone. He has a face you just want to. You uh -huh. turned your back on me. Oh, 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 he got me mad. I almost like it. Then the sh. Here's your drink, baby. Oh, thank you. I really hope my head. Ow. <laughs> just a hench. The phone. Get off the farm. <laughs> what a weird plan. If he's close to the family and he's milking them for their money, what's wrong with you? Did they kidnap someone? Said about ransom, didn't they? What do you mean you don't bet? I mean, I don't bet. I bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. 10 to 1? You're on. <laughs> <laughs> you just won the bet. I'm gonna get you. Uh -oh. Oh. Come on, Joe. Let me do them. Let me do both of them. You can do both of them if you want. When they pick me up, you follow us. Hey, 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 here they come. Oh, that's a good plan. Good timing. <laughs> My car died and I'm late for a luncheon. A what? A luncheon? What's that? Saddle up, partner. You're it. Cannot stamp it. Can't do double stamp it. No erases. <laughs> He's a shit himself. Lord, Lord, you guys! Enough! Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> guys! 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 <laughs> what was that sound? That was like a car bird alarm. <laughs> I can't even do that. I'm not even gonna try. Who needs a radio? Ready, Harry? Bird. Yeah. 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 Body, have you heard? Have you heard? She's on it's a fucking bird. Again. Now I know why so many dads beat their children, though. Imagine having two little children like this. Such a good film, isn't it? You can never go wrong with a Jim Carrey film. You just can't. Dante's Inferno. Spicy food's nice, right? First cold bites, but the nose running, the eyes, it's just not it. Go at the same time, huh? That sounds like a dare, Harry. It's a double dare. Oh, really? A double dare? Mm. How spicy is that, though? It's one of those Carolina Reapers. <laughs> <laughs> When a child has a sip of beer. You know, my granddad used to, I used to ask for shandy for my granddad when I was like eight. I think he used to, used to give me lemonade. Hey. <laughs> and then one day I think he actually gave me shandy and I was like, oh, that was that disgusting. So I just brought back a cool memory. Dump a little rat poison in there, Shirley Temple. That's a bit horrible though. Oh God, like a killer man. How many of those do you put in there? Why are burgers so good though? I honestly live off burgers. I don't know you guys see exactly what you eat, but it's just burgers. No, no, the briefcase isn't even ours. Some lady left at the airport. We're just bringing it back to her. You don't even know her? <laughs> That guy's like, oh, I don't have to kill you now. It's kind of a good thing, no? <laughs> oh my god, the sweat! 
<laughs> I think you killed him. My pills. They call an ambulance. Why is everyone watching? You're useless. Do something. I know he's a killer. Do something. Out with the battery. Out with the battery. He needs the pills. He's resisting me. Wrong pills. Pills. That's rat poison. Pills are good. Pills are good. Oh my god. Why is he even like chill now? He didn't even swallow the bloody pills yet. <laughs> That's how rap poison works, guys. He instantly felt better than he instantly died. For manly love be here March 25th at 2.15 a.m. Don't tell me that's now. Hey, it's a manly love. Hey, this could be good. Get your nunchuck. <laughs> you! <laughs> oh, some manly love, some hate. I was gonna say it. Plus, my astrologer told me that I really should stay away from accident prone guys. So Your astrologer told you to. Say what? Careful, you're covered in petrol. Thank you. Sure. You know, I'm. I'm gonna give you my number. Let me find it. Look, why don't you just tell it to me? I got a really good memory. That is so weird how your mind just goes blank. For God's sake, just give me the damn number! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna enjoy this. Oh! See, so why do people do this? Because the threat of it being bitten off. Why would they ever. Do you know what I'm saying? What is stopping someone just going. <laughs> 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 Wait, why him dying in 69 on his hat? That's brilliant. Hey guys! Oh, big gulps, huh? Alright. Well, see you later. <laughs> Some people just weren't cut out for life on the road. I hate long drives. I, anything after 40 minutes, I just don't I don't want it. Planes alright, but cars, yeah. Oh, the wrong way. You twat arm. Oh. How long have I been out? They take a good five hours. Stop, you're making me yawn. No, I'm good. I expected the Rocky Mountains to be a little rockier than this. I'm only human, Harry! Anybody can make a mistake. <laughs> oh, they know they're on the wrong way. Well, we'll drive back then. We don't have enough money to sleep! We're in a hole. We're just gonna have to dig ourselves out. Somehow. We got pet children just drive back. Where are you going? I'm walking home. <laughs> I guess I forgot that you never ever make a mistake! Oh No, best friends! Yeah! What is that thing? What happened to the car? Where did you find that? Traded the van for it, straight up. I can get 70 miles to the gallon on this hog. Oh, I see, that's why. I gotta, I gotta stop and go to the bathroom! Just go, man! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, actually, it's warm. Oh god, how cold. I've never been skiing or snowboarding though, one day. Just because I'm in the UK, anytime I go abroad, it has to be somewhere hot, ideally. Like, uh, like. But I guess you can tan skiing, can't you? People get burnt. <laughs> that is gross. We're there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're strong, we to carry you. Yeah, well, I'm starving. <laughs> Butt on there. Yeah, he must work out. <laughs> Why don't we get busy and deliver the briefcase to Mary? Do you know her address? <laughs> you don't even know her. What's her last name? I'll look it up. So swim, swammy. Sl slippy, Swan Swenson. It's right here. Samsonite. No, you moron. So what are we supposed to do now? I can't feel my fig fingers anymore. Look. How did you start a fire? It's impressive. Ooh, maybe you should wear these extra gloves. <laughs> My hands are starting to get sweaty. <laughs> Extra gloves this whole time? Yeah. We're in the Rockies. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Lloyd. Calm down. We'll put the gloves on first. Get a frostbite. Long time ago. <laughs> oh, no, no. Open it. Is it with money? <laughs> oh, yeah. Money, money. This is so good, they're literally broke. Small loan from the briefcase, and we'll, we'll keep track of all the money we spend with IOUs. No, just rob it all, who cares? This is the Hotel Danbury Presidential Suite, gentlemen. President. Normally reserved for royalty. We'll take it! Oh my god. What is it with people, though? As soon as they get money, they have to spend it. And how much was in there to buy all this? There you go. There you go. Imagine having that much money though to just do that. 100 tips. It would feel good though, right? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what the hell is an advert? Ah, it's Mary. Who? Mary with the briefcase. The thing is, you've got nothing to give back. Well, host, a newel host. Host, host. International Preservation Society tomorrow night. Well, Mom, Cinderella, we gotta get you ready for the ball. But we have nothing to give her. Well, no money to give her. Mercy. Ah. Oh. Ah, I don't understand how people can just let themselves go. I do such minimal work on myself, really. I mean, I just shower, that's it. And some people's toes are just disgusting. How? I'm never like, let me clean my feet. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but <laughs> I don't clean my feet. I don't know what to say. <laughs> that's how I want that head. <laughs> or I don't want it at all. Look, how did this cigar just grow then? Do you see that? <laughs> he had the little stub in his mouth and it was like... Mm -hmm. Yes! Ah! <laughs> Part of me wishes I could be that childish sometimes and enjoy life. Oh, 500. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Here, put us down for... Uh, put us down for four. <laughs> <laughs> the Icelandic snow owl. Definitely real, guys. Definitely real. One seventh of the snow owl population left on the planet. Why don't you just say there's 14 total left and these are two of them? Why you gotta be fancy with fractions? So isn't it amazing how some people like care more when there's less of an animal, but will happily kill like so many of us. Do you know what I'm saying though? Isn't that kind of a fair point? I'm ready for a commitment, Harry. I just got that old fashioned romantic feeling. Horny. Where I'd do anything to bone her. Yeah. That's a special feeling, Lloyd. Uh, is it? It's been a hundred times a day. There she is. She's an angel. Look at Jim. Go over and introduce yourself. Tell her I'm rich. I have a rapist wit. A what? What'd you say? A rapist wit? Put out the vibe. <laughs> oh, God. When you catch them staring. Act natural. Nice set of hooters you got there. The owls are beautiful. The whole time Jim's just waiting, vibing in the back. The um, real reason I came over here was to, I got a intro. <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. This is my stepmother, Helen. Hi, Harry Dunn. Oh, stepmother, hello, baby. I saw you come in. I was hoping I'd get a chance to meet you. Oh, really, stepmom? Oh, hello. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, about my friend. What friend. are you doing tomorrow? I believe that Mary is looking for someone to hit the slopes with. What do you say, Mr. Dunn? Are you available? Don't be that guy. What do you say? What do you say? Sure, what time? You're horrible. You can never get between- No, never. Just don't do it. Got your date with her tomorrow. <laughs> what? I can't- How? It's your date. Got the taxes. <laughs> Thirteen of them left? It was a message, Shay. Pure and simple. I mean, we killed their bird. Oh, of course. No, I forgot about that. Yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Hey, you're a little early. Uh, we don't open for about 45 minutes. Early? Why are we meeting at someone at a bar at like 9 a.m.? It's a beautiful day, huh, Harry? You're horrible, though. What is wrong with this guy? I hate him. Lloyd's bad, but he would never steal your girl. There's been some family problems, but I don't want to bore you with those. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good response. I'm gonna say that next time. <laughs> I don't wanna bore you with this stuff. Alright, cheers. Yeah, thanks a lot. Are you okay? Oh yeah. I gotta do this all the time. Not on a moving thing. No, 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 no. <laughs> I said, don't people have to have their tongues like cut off? Oh, what happens to people? You need some like hot water. She's running late, huh? Just a couple hours. Just a couple Ooh, hours. Boys. This one's on me. No, oh, thanks to the chorus lights. Tasty cold beer. Shabby, please. Oh, her. She's a, is she like a spy fed? Oh, we know where to put them, huh? I'll be back. There's <laughs> one hanging below the other, at least. But how is this date going well? God, I hate him so much. Oh, I can't cannon that. <laughs> He's taking it too far. No. Oh my god. Oh, not the down the neck. Guys take this stuff so far though. They really do. 
How can you smile and laugh about that though? Any guy would cry. <laughs> I would cry. You know where she lives? Yeah, her family has the big place up on Alpine Drive. Big place? Imagine he catches them as they come back. I've got to tell you, today was just what I needed. And now I'll never see you again. Thanks for the distraction. So you'll pick me up tonight at 7.45? Oh, what? Oh, I still hate him. You're such a, oh. Must be the car. Let's be real here. Cause she ain't talking to him in that shagging wagon. <gasps> he saw it. Yeah, but that is so bad though. I'm sorry, like your best friend. Like, there's plenty of people. Don't just, just don't go near anybody you know's person. Just don't. He, what's the point? Doesn't make any sense, Lloyd. She told me ten o'clock sharp, and you're still lying about it. She must have meant ten o'clock. At night. Why would she have you meet her in a bar at 10 in the morning? Don't tell me he's gonna go back, please. Hey, Harry, old buddy, old pal. Will you join me in a good luck toast before you head out? Oh, what's the plan? <laughs> oh! That's why I want you to stay Turbo lags. One half teaspoon for fast, effective relief. I've never used it and I never will, I don't think. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's coming out! Oh, it's not chocolate. Look at his face. <laughs> the matchmaker. Get out of here. <laughs> he deserves this though. Oh my god. Surely you could kill a man though with that much like lax or something. Isn't that dang that's dangerous? Oh <laughs> he's about to nuke. Doors open, come on upstairs. You yeah, wish your toilet, bruv? I'll never nuke in someone else's house though. That's rule number three. You don't know what rule number one and two are. <laughs> Why are they all locked? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there with a relatable story. There's, just, there's no need for that, is there? I'm not saying I have these arms. Anyway, he really looks like a dog, doesn't he? What is it about his face? <sighs> you got any more coming out? Don't tell me that's it. Be right out! I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. <gasps> Oh! Uh, the toilet doesn't flush. No, I was just shaving. Shaving? Shaving what? Your balls? Sponsor, today's sponsor is uh, Manscaped. Uh, what would you do? <laughs> 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 what could you actually do in that situation? There's no good move. There's none. You have to own up. Of the blind Rhode Island boy who was duped into buying a dead parakeet. Thought he was real quiet. Well, you're a moron, aren't you? Use your eyes, boy. Bloody hell. I drove you to the airport last uh, week. Oh my god. Uh, Lloyd, right? I should remember his name. Oh, he got hard from that. You have my briefcase? You want to jump on the bike with me? We can go get it. Oh, I know that old trick in the book. It's sort of an emergency. I'll explain later. Do this again sometime. <laughs> That's karma for you. I'd say he deserves to be with her. None of them do. They don't. Look familiar? <laughs> I don't believe it. You really have it. With nothing inside. That is so sweet, Lloyd. <laughs> she still won't grow out with you, though. She still won't. I'm sorry. <laughs> A schoolboy who desperately wants to make sweet, sweet love to you. So wait, wait, don't roleplay as a schoolboy. I mean, she, she's mad laying. I don't know what it is about her. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how old she is. Mary, I desperately want to make love to a schoolboy. <laughs> Whoa! Maybe I should no. go. What in the, for Jesus? Hey, 911, hold up. <laughs> you sure your name's Jim Carrey, not Jimmy Savile? Flat out, I want you to give me the honest answer. What do you think the chances are of a guy like you and a girl like me? <laughs> Ending up together. Zero. Not good. One out of a hundred. More like one out of a million. Whoa, you're a bitch. I mean, she's not always true. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> yeah! I've been looking for you, Mary. I have some news about your husband. Oh, husband. He was napped. What was all that one in a million talk? <laughs> Aren't you gonna invite me in? Whoa! She's the whore? What do you mean? One in a million? She's on a date with him! Listen, Mr. Samsonite. <laughs> Mr. Samsonite. That's good. What is this? What is this? That's as good as money, sir. 275,000. 
How much was in the case, though? Okay, how do you guys know each other? We used to be best friends. Yeah, until he turned into a backstabber. Him? You! And you knew I was crazy about Freda Felcher, and that didn't stop you, did it? <gasps> oh, he knew about that. Okay, okay. I forgot about that. I forgot. Wait, no, no, do me first. Yesterday was one of the greatest days of my life. She touched my leg. Okay, kill him! <laughs> oh! You killed him! You killed my best friend, you bastard! <laughs> you just told him to kill him! Whoa! Harry! What the hell? <laughs> Special Officer Beth Jordan, FBI. She was FBI, I was joking. They let him die though. Yeah, these cops suck. They could have fixed this ages ago. How come I didn't get a gun? They're all awful, awful FBI. My god, what a film though. Isn't there a sequel? I hope there's a sequel. You gotta smash like for this one in the sequel. I mean, come on. Subscribe for Dumb and Dumber and Dumb Dumber. Dumb Dumb. Dumb. What's the best line in this? That opening was so good. Austria. I go die, mate. I'm glad we were able to help her out. Oh, the husband! Get him, where's my gun? Quick! Oh, oh, easy, easy, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. just a little sore. Sore? What have they been doing to you? Oh, baby, I missed your love. Honey, there's still- My gun! Oh my god, he's got a gun! <laughs> Boy! Boy! <laughs> I was joking again. That's what it's like, though. You'll see someone, right? You'll fantasize, you'll pick yourself up to try and. Say something, whatever. One time you'll see them with someone then. Oh. When are we ever gonna catch a break? Uh, God just is real. He must be real. At that point, I'd be converted. Hi, y'all. Hey, allihopa. We're going on a national bikini tour. Just with that one on the right. Forget you. Uh, the middle one is... I'll take the two. There's a town about three miles that way. I'm sure you'll find a couple guys there. Are you gay? Okay. Are you? It's just confirmed. Do you realize what you've done? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to excuse my friend. He's gay. <laughs> the town is back that way. <laughs> Oof. You just had a chance to redeem yourself. Two lucky guys are gonna be driving around with those girls for the next couple of months. Months? Oh. Oh. Good lord. To be a rock star, huh? So that does it for Dumb and Dumber, and this film was gold. But I'd love to know what you guys thought of this one, and should I watch the next one? As well as, if you didn't miss a favorite moment, you can actually watch the full movie along with me on my Patreon in the description below, where you don't need your own copy. And if you did enjoy it, smash that like button and subscribe for more. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.